Oh, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty King. Thank you, King of Kings. This is a wonderful morning that the Lord has made for you that you rejoice. You are not created for pain. You are not created for sorrows. You are not created for poverty. You are not created for diseases and sicknesses. You are not created for reproach. You are created in God's image. You are created to glorify God. You are created to glorify the King of the Kings. You are created to worship the Heavenly Father. That's why he has chosen you. That's why he has brought you here to hear his word this morning. And I believe this morning we shall not go back the same way we came. I'm standing in the spirit of the Lord that you never go back the same way you came. Jesus, the mighty king that I serve, Yes, it's going to touch your life. And it's going to be a change. In the name of Jesus. I command it just now. I command it a change in your life. I command a change in your situation. I command a change in whatever you do. In the name of Jesus. Devil has no position in you. Devil has no press in you. He has no position in this church. I stand and call heaven a fire to burn any kind of demon that might be lottering here just now. In the name of Jesus, I call fire from heaven. Standing in authority of the mighty God, I command heaven a fire to come and burn any kind of disease that was caused by Satan. I command it just now to free away from you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us care for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to discuss on the word which says God removes reproach from, from the well of saved people. God removes the reproach from the well saved people. People who are saved well. Imana ikura igisuzuguriro kubachijijwe neza. Are you not happy? Ese na abuneze newe. Can't you clap for God? Ha abushawara kuko merimana mashi. For I want to remove the reproach away from you. Ha abushawara kuko imana ikura higisuzuguriro. Are you not saved well? Na abu uchijijwe neza. Why don't you clap for God? Kuchu dashawara kuko merimana mashi. God wants to remove the reproach upon your life. You might be here for so many years, seated in the house of the Lord, but seated with a reproach over your life. You are here you might have served God, we are a servant of God, but with a reproach over your life. When you have a reproach, you have no say. You have no word in the people. You cannot, speak, you cannot talk to people and they listen to you. Even in your family, they cannot hear you. Even your place of work, they cannot hear you. Even your wife, cannot hear you even your husband cannot hear you even your children cannot hear you even your housemaids they cannot hear you when you have reproach you cannot have a say in your home that you built for yourself when you have a reproach, you have a, a, a darker covering over your life. 
There's a dark cover that covers your life. That covers you. That covers you. That people cannot see you. You sit in an exam. You have masters. You have the skills. You sit on an exam. And you pass. But when you come on the table of all interview, they can't see you. You speak rude words. You speak unworthy words. You speak nasty words. You become angry for no reason. And the people on the panel they say, ah, this one does not qualify to be our because of the reproach over your life because of the darker covering over your life you are qualified you speak but they don't listen from you you don't have a say you eat but they don't come satisfied you smear a very expensive lotion over your body but you are not looking smart you put an expensive hair over your head but you don't look smart you put on expensive clothes and garments but you don't look smart why? because of the reproach when you have a reproach you cannot be smart whatever kind of expensive clothes you put on when you have reproach over your life you cannot speak and people listen whatever kind of qualification you have yes mm. but in this morning in this morning in this morning your life will never be the same in this morning because I have known the secret because you are going to discover the secret your life will never be the same God removes reproach from his well saved people condition only one condition to be saved well. There are two people that God gives his wealth. One. Saved and unsaved. For the unsaved. God gives them his treasures. Such that at the time of judgment. They shall never have any escape God. That's why God gives them wealth. Second, God gives wealth to his well saved people. Two people. Pagan. Sarah, Sarah, at the time of judgment shall not have any condemnation upon God second well saved the people of God quote me well well saved the people of God what do you mean by being saved well doing the word of God Doing the will of God. Doing the word of God. Putting the word of God into action. That's what we say. Being saved well. That's the word of God is said times. Times. Does the word of man be married to one wife and one husband? Do that. Now the word of God says, obey God and obey his name and keep all his, his name and his day. Keep the Sabbath of God holy. The servants of God and the day of God. The holy day of God. Does God tell you respect your parents? 
respect them whatever kind of bad thing they have done to you do you know the best thing of, of, of obeying your parents younger children do you get me do you know the goodness the importance of honoring and respecting your parents is to longer last you longer last that's what the bible tells us you cannot long last because you eat well you cannot long last because you live in Europe you cannot live long because you live in America you can, but you can live long because you have respected your parents that is the secret the secret Being saved when is to honor the word of God. Is to humble before you the presence of your God. Is to be humble before people. Is to cast away pride. Is to keep your body sanctified. Is to have the altar of God in your heart. Is to sing good things about people. Sing, singing, singing. Yes, and planning good things upon your neighbor. The word of God says, What you want other people to do for you. Do it to them. The word of God is a reality. If you want God to love you, love your neighbor. If you want God to make you rich, make other people rich. If you want God to heal your disease, pray for the sick. If you want God to close the, 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 the doors of the prison for you. If you want God to cross the doors of the prison for you. Visit the imprisoned people. Visit the imprisoned people. If you want God to take you to heaven. Do the word of God. Do the word of the word of God. If you want to be a friend of God, be a friend of the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I saved the people. No reproach. Starting from today, in the name of Jesus, the Savior, the Lord, the mighty King. No more reproach. The people of God were saved well. Let us see the word of God. Joshua chapter 5. Verse 2 to 9. Pastor, you can read for us. Joshua chapter 5. Up to 9. Okay, let me read as the pastor is going to look for us. At that time, the Lord said to Joshua, Make flint knives and circumcise the people of Israel again the second time. So Joshua made flint knives and circumcised the people of Israel at Gebiah, Halot. And this is the reason why Joshua circumcised them. All the men of the people who came out of Egypt, all the men of war, had died on the way in the wilderness after they had come out of Egypt. Though all the people who came out had. Uh, had been circumcised, yet all the people that were born on the way in the wilderness after they had come out of Egypt had not been circumcised. For the people of Israel walked, for, uh, walked 40 years in the wilderness till all the nation, the men of war that had, uh, till all the nation, the men of war that came forth out of Egypt perished because they did not hearken to the voice of the Lord. To them, the Lord saw that he would not let them see the land which the Lord had sown to their fathers to give us a land flowing with milk and honey. So it was their children whom 
whom he raised up in their stead that Joshua circumcised. For they were circumcised because they had not been circumcised on the way. When the circumcising of all the nation was done, they remained in their place in the camp, in the camp till they were healed. And the Lord said to Joshua, This day I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. And so, name of that place is called Gilgal to this day. Amen. Pastor, can it for us? Joshua chapter 5, verse 2 to 9. Icho gihe uwiteka abwire Yesu ati Wisatura mawe acaye mukebe abisirare ubwa kabiri Yosua asatura amabuye acaye ayakebeshereza abisirare ku musozi alaloti impamvu yatumye Yosua abakebesha ngiyi abagabo bose bari baravuye muri Egiputa bari bara Bari baraguye mu nzira. Bari baraguye mu nzira inyura mu butayu barimo ingabo zose nibo bari bavuye muri Egiputa. Abantu bose bari bavuye yo bari barakebwe ariko abo aba babyare mu butayu bakiri mu nzira yaho ubwo bavaga muri Egiputa. Bo bari batarakebwa Kuko abisirayeli bazerereye imyaka 40 mu butayu kugeza igihinga bo zose z'ubwoko bwabo zavuye muri Egiputa zashiriye kuko batumvi uwiteka uwiteka yari yaraba rahiye ko atazemera ko bareba igihugu uwiteka yasezeraniye basekuruza babo kukibaha ariko cyo ari cyo gihugu cy'amata n'ubuki Abana babo yabashubije mu kimbo cyabo ari bo Yesuwa yakebesheje kuko bari batarakebwa impamvu nuko batakebewe mu nzira nuko abantu bose bamaze gukebwa bagumaho bari bari mu mahema yabo kugezaho bakiriye uwiteka abwira Yesuwa ati None mbakuyeho igisuzuguriro abanye Egiputa babasuzuguraga nico gituma aho hantu hitwa Girugari na bugingo nubu Amen let us cry for the Lord Joshua the successor of Moses Yosua wasimbuye Moses who was by one time a helper of Moses mbere yari umufasha wa Moses God commanded him Go and make flint knives, a sharp knife. And circumcise your people. Time has come that to circumcise my people for the second time. This means what? They were once circumcised. But now God ordered and commanded Joshua to circumcise them again. What is circumcision? Circumcision of the past time is compared to the modern salvation of Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Look here, let's be distracted. Hallelujah. The word of God is here. Listen from me. God is telling you that this day is a final day for your reproach. This day is a final day for your reproach. Do you want to part out your reproach? Listen to the word of God. Do the word of God. Do the will of God. Hearken to the voice of God. Do you know why these people are dead in the wilderness? One. They did not hearken to the voice of the Lord. They did not follow the voice of God. They did not do the will of God. They did not implement the word of God. They just regarded it as ordinary word. 
ahubwo bagendaga bibereho ku bwandi magambo yanyu like a conversation between you and your neighbor and your friend nkuko abantu biganira nko ibyo uganira hagati yawe na mugenzi wawe but i want to this morning ariko ndagira ngo nkwibutse iki gitondo if god tells you something niba imana hari iki kubwiye do it with your life gikore nubuzima bwawe bwose do it with your soul gikore numwuka wawe do it with your knowledge gikore nubwenge bwawe bwose do it with your treasures gikore nubutunzi bwawe bwose the israelites abanya israeli they were supposed to spend like 3 to 4 days in, in, the, in, in on the journey from egypt to, to the promised land ubundi bagombaga kumara iminsi hagati itatu nini mu rugendo rwabo rwabavanaga maximum maximum one week bibyakabya bikaba icyumweru but they spent 40 years loitering and wandering in the wilderness ariko bamaze imyaka 40 bizengurukaho bazengurukaho the bible tells us in this chapter 5 verse 6 that they spent those 40 years in the wilderness because they had hearkened i mean they not hearkened to the voice of the lord bibiliya muri iki gice cya gatano iratubwira ko impamvu ba mu gice cya gatano iratubwira ngo chapter 5 verse 6 muri iki gice cya gatano murongo wa gatandatu bibiliya iratubwira ngo impamvu ba maziri ya myaka yose bazenguruka mu butayo nuko batigeze bubaha ngo bakurikize ijwi ry'Imana. Not take the voice of the Lord. Ntabwo bigeze bita ku ijwi ry'Imana. Like we tend to do nowadays. Nuko natwe muri iminsi ya none turimo kubigenza. God tells you come all in my house. Imana irakubwira ngo zindukuze mu nzu yanyu. But you come in your way on your on the way doing what you want. Ariko ukaza mu nzira wicira hirya no hino wikorera ibyo ushaka. You come late. Ukaza ukererewe. And what of God says? Kandi jambo ry'Imana iratubwira. The one I consider is the poor man who feels trembled by my word ngo uwo nitaho no mukene ariko wita ku ijambo ryanjye uhindishwe umushitsi uhindishwe umushitsi ni jambo ryanjye are you trembling by the word of god ese urahindishwe umushitsi ni jambo ryanjye the word of god ese ufite ubwoba bwa ijambo ryanjye you fear what comes from this bible ese uratinya ikintu gituruka muri iri jambo ry'Imana or you take it as ordinary thing cyangwa ubifata nk'ibindi bintu bisanzwe characteristics of people who are not saved well ibintu bigaragaza abantu badakijijwe neza one they don't fear god abwo batinya imana they don't fear the time of coming in the house of god abwo batinya amasaha yashizwe yo kuza don't fear the servants of god abwo batinya bakozi b'imana they don't fear here on the pulpit abwo batinya hano kugatura they don't fear the house of god abwo batinya inzu y'imana they don't fear the word of god abwo batinya ijambo ry'imana they don't fear their parents abwo batinya ababyeyi babo they don't fear elder people ntabwo batinya bakuru elder people come in the bus niba umuntu mukuru aje muri bus you are seated ukaba wicaye you don't stand up for him to see ntabwo ushobora kumuhagurukira ngo yicare ntabwo utinya imana your parent comes ababyeyi bawe baraza or even a parent of your neighbor cyangwa se umubyeyi w'amaturanyi banyi he comes instead of giving me the place he continue sitting putting on the leg of the other akaza waba wicaye ku ntebe ntuhaguruka ukakomeza wicare ugeretse akaguruka kanje you don't fear god ntabwo utinya imana fearing god utinya imana is giving respect to god nokubaha imana is giving respect to other people nokubaha abantu the elders abakuruta the servants of god abakozi b'imana and your elder your only the elders nabakuruta abakuru kuri wowe don't fear rero abadatinya is a sign of people who are not saved well abo ngabo ni ikimenyetso kigaragaza ko badakijijwe neza icyakabiri they spend most of their time on earthly things bafata igihe cyabo igihe cyabo bagikoresha mu byisi most of their time igihe cyabo kinini bagikoresha mu byisi and the word of god says kandi jambo ry'Imana riratubwira in Corinthians chapter 3 mu bikorinto ibice bitatu Corinthians mu bakorosayi ibice bitatu Corinthians chapter 3 verse 2 only verse 2 abakorosayi ibice bitatu mu rongo wa kabiri that set before uh, set your affection on things above not on things in the earth muje muhoza amaso yanyu kubiri hejuru atari ibyo hasi cyangwa se mwisi chapter chapter 3 verse 2 Corinthians abakorosayi ibice bitatu mu rongo wa kabiri gusa so yes pastor god bless you Amen. Amen. Set your affection on heavenly things not on the earth. Uhoze umutima kubiri mwijuri, kubiri mwijuru atari kubiri mwizi. One of the characteristics that show that a person is not saved well. 
Rero kimwe mu bigaragaza ko umuntu adakijijwe neza. If he his affection on the earthly things, on the world things instead of heavenly things. Usanga we umutima we buri giha uhoza ku byo mwisi kuri ibi byo mwisi byo mwijuru atabyitaye. How am I going to get rich? Ese nzakira nte? How what am I going to see football? Ese ni gute ndi bujye kureba umupira? How am I going to bet? Ni gute ndi bujye muri betting? You spend your time in WhatsApp. Uka mfata umwanya wawe muri WhatsApp. Say spend your time conversing with and feel the people. Ugafata umwanya wawe ujya mu biganiro n'abatarake. Rude people, rude conversation. Ukajya mu biganiro bibi. You don't have time to read the word of God. Ntugira umwanya wo gusoma ijambo ry'Imana. You don't have the time to come in a private place and converse your father. Ntugira umwanya wo kwihererana na songo mugani. That shows an saved person. Icyo ni ikigaragaza yuko udakijijwe neza. Oh people who are, who are not saved well. But a person who is saved well, he keeps your focuses on, on heaven. Ahanga umutima we cyangwa amaso ye mu ijuru. He focuses on the day when Jesus shall come back. Ahanga amaso ku munsi Yesu azaziraho. When Jesus comes back. Ubwo Yesu azagaruka. How shall I how shall I conduct myself? How am I going to encounter him on the sky? Shall I be holy? Shall I be in a good condition? I mean in a good relation with my God? Shall I not be ashamed when I see Jesus on the sky? How is God considering me in heaven? How does he look at me? Am I righteous before my father? Am I doing his will? Do I lead the word of God? Do I have at least one work in the house of God that I do? Am I holy? Am I sanctified? So you keep your heart preparing for Jesus, the second coming of Jesus. When shall he find me? Buri gihe uhorana umutima wawe utekereza uko Imana imwijuru Yesu uko azakubona uko kureba You keep on examining your relationship with your God Buri gihe uhora ureba ubusabane bwawe n'Imana You keep on examining your, in your dreams Buri gihe uhora wigenzura no mu nzozi zawe How am I dreaming in our days Ese muri iminsi ndaroti zihenze What type of dreams am I dreaming No buhe bwoko bw'inzozi ndiho ndota Try dream for the king Ese ndiho ndarota ubusambanye Try dream talking alcohol Ese ndiho ndarota nwa inzoga dream to calling with the people what is the kind what the nature of my dream is when i sleep that shows your relationship with your god hallelujah Amen. when you are in a good relationship with your god you dream dancing in the house of the lord you dream hugging the people of god you dream doing your discussion with the servants of God. You dream seeing Jesus on the sky. You dream seeing Jesus and his angels talking to you. You dream seeing the presence of the Republic in your eyes. The, the president of the Republic. You know the president of the Republic. The President wigi huku aza iwawe President Kenshi wigi huku yu mbonye mwanzozi Awa hagara di imana And he talks to you in a polite language Uka wana kufujisha na magambo meza In a polite way Uka wana kufujisha na meza That means that you are big You are in a good relationship with your God If you are in a good relationship with your God But people who are not saved away Who are not in a good relationship with your God Who are not in a good relationship with your God But you are in a good relationship with your God You dream a person who is a person who is a person who is chasing you Having a panga in his hand. You dream a bull wanting to hit you. A bull. Fizzy is your cookie. What type of dreams do you have? Relationship with God. Examine your dream. Examine the way. You hand yourself. In the church and outside of the church. Examine the way you put up your clothes. Do you have a, a, a distinction between you, the way you put on your clothes and the way halots outside here put on their clothes? Este iyo wirebye ubona hari itandukaniro ry'uburyo imyambarire yawe n'indaya ujye ubona hanza ha. Is there a distinction? Urabona hari itandukaniro? Is there a distinction between the way you speak and how pagan speak? Ese hari itandukaniro mu buryo uvuga nuko abapagani bavuga? Is there a way? Urabona hari itandukaniro? 
That is another characteristic. Finally, the third characteristic that shows people are not saved well. They spend most of their time with unbelievers. They go against the word of God which you find in Psalms chapter 1 from verse 1. Psalms chapter 1. Where God forbids us to sit with any people. How do you spend your day? Which people do you spend your day with? How long do you speak and visit the people of God? I mean, how long do you come and visit the people of God, the believers? How long do you discuss the word of God with believers? How long do you take your time and go to visit the pastors or even the, your fellow believers? But unfortunately, we find ourselves taking most of our time with unbelievers. Though they may be your family, I mean, relatives. But it is very good for you to take time and look and visit the people of God and discuss the word of God, discuss about the exaltation of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. These people that we have read in Joshua chapter 5, the Israelites, they, they, they did not inherit the land of Canaan. They did not inherit They did not inherit it at all. Ntabwo bari bararazwe igihugu because they died in the wilderness, all of them. Apart from younger children who had not attained the age of 20. All the rest, including war fighters, war healers, they all died in the wilderness. Now, when you read verse 8, in the same chapter, chapter 5. When circumcising of all the nation was done, they remained in their place at the camp till they were healed. After they had been circumcised, for the second time, they remained in the place where God had told them to remain. Till they were healed. But when you get saved today, you go out of the church. You go anywhere. You say what I have, what I wanted is salvation, then otherwise I'm going. But so many times we baptize people here, but after one week, they disappear. But what of God is saying, after when the circumcising of the nation was done, they remained in their places in the cup till they were healed. And the Lord said to Joshua, this day I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you and so the name of that place is called Gilgal of this day. Why did God remove the reproach away from the people from Egypt? Why? They were circumcised. Why? They remained the place where God had told them to remain. Why? They had what Joshua told them from God and they hearkened that word. Why? They obeyed Joshua to circumcise them. When you are saved well, when they were circumcised well, 
The reproach is removed from you. And you, you live in Giloga. Do you want to live in Giloga? May I see the hand of people who want reproach to go away from them? May I see the hand of people who want to stand in Giloga? What is, what is Girugan? Girugan is a place where you have a say. It's a place where you have care. It's a place where you have freedom. It's a place where you have peace of mind. It's a place where you feel comfortable. It's a place where people love you. It's a place where you have no betray or people where people can betray you. It's a place where you have no suspicion of, of other people. It's a place where you feel freedom. It's a place where you feel that you are loved. It's a place where you feel comfortable. When do you live there? When do you go there? After circumcision, after salvation, saved well, bringing the word of God, doing what you have Jesus. learned here. After circumcision, God told Joshua, What reproach of the Egyptians? And they put upon my people is now removed. It shall never come back. I have put them in Giruga. You are going to live in peace. You are going to live in harmony. You are going to live in comfort. You are going to live in peace. You are going to live without barrenness. You are going to live a situation free of diseases. You are going to live a press free of suspicion. You are going to live a press free of disease and sickness. That is Girugal. That is Girugal. After circumcision, you live in Girugal. After salvation, where? You live in Giruga. You, your promises are fulfilled. You get what God has promised to you. You bear, you bear heresy children. You bear fruitful gardens and, and farms. You get a nice job. You get promotion. All this is done after circumcision. Neza. Hallelujah. Amen. Circumcision. Makes you live in Giruga. Salvation. Makes you live in comfort. Salvation. Gives you a relationship with God. Salvation. Did you for us the final chapter? Uh, uh, Pastor. Uh, Proverbs. Search for. Verse 6 13. If not, certainly. Proverbs. Hallelujah. Amen. Circumcision. Uchebga. Salvation. Agachiza. Proverbs. Imigani. Chapter 34. Ivichem Mirongitatonavine. Is this Psalm? I mean, it's, 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 it's Psalms, not Proverbs. Psalms, sorry. Psalms. It's Psalms, sorry. Hallelujah. Amen. Read 15. Verse 15. Zaburi. Chapter 34, verse 15. Psalms 34, 15. Psalms 15. The eyes of the Lord. I must say with you. Hmm? Read the 15. It is 16. 
Kadusome, zaburi mna ukutatu na kane, mna ukutume na gata nda. Okay, that's it. Ama sowe teka, arikuwa chira anuti. Nama tukie, arikubuta kakuwa. Amen. Amen. The eyes of the Lord are toward his righteous. And his ears are upon their cries. That is my conclusion. Let us pray. You want the eye of the Lord to come on you? The eye. The eye. Be righteous. Do you want God to hear your cries? Be righteous. Stand up and pray. What are you going to pray? Father, remove any kind of reproach upon my life. And Father, give me a very good salvation that appeases your heart. And Father, let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for myself and your people. Father, that remove the reproach upon the lives right from today in the name of Jesus any kind of reproach reproach of diseases reproach of sicknesses weakness I mean of, of weaknesses Weakness of suspicion. Reproach of betrayal. Reproach from our family and from the place where we work. In the name of Jesus, I command it now to be rolled away from your people. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we call to give us a nice resolution that gives us a very good relationship with you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for you have heard us.